Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. It's Coupons with Abby. Happy CVS Day. We are at the place. I know I skipped out on it last week. My CRTs just were not worth making a whole trip here. And it's funny because last week's CRTs sort of align better with this week's sales. So we are definitely here today. Lots of beauty deals I'm definitely trying to grab today for that beauty event. Personal care deals. The laundry deals are back, however, I'm not going for the laundry deals because I'm not really trying to pay a high out of pocket. Um, and I will go ahead and put this disclaimer right here. Lots of transactions being rolled today because I just have very little extra bucks on my main account. So I'm going to be rolling a lot just because I want a low out of pocket. I could just, you know, redeem for a $20 Fetch Rewards gift card, have a high out of pocket, but that would make me sick to my stomach. So we're just gonna keep rolling. Um, I think that's basically it. I don't really think it's gonna be a big haul, pretty light for me. Um, so we're just gonna get in and see what we can grab. If you are new to my channel and just found me, welcome. I'm so glad you are here. Please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload. I am having kind of a late start to the day. It's already noon. Normally I'm out here by like nine or 10 a.m. but I, so here's my routine. I'll wake up at midnight, check my new CRTs, spend about an hour or two planning my trip, go back to sleep, wake up about seven, and then hit the road. Um, not today. I didn't start planning my haul until 7 a.m. I wanted to sleep, so that's how it's going. But we're here, we're at the CVS. Let's go in and check out some deals. So my first deal is going to be on the Nivea Women's Body Wash. This week they're on sale for $5. I do believe we got some insert coupons today on the 27th. However, I do not have my inserts right now, but I do have a couple CRTs that will make this absolutely free. I have a $3 CRT and a $2 CRT. So like I said, absolutely free. So shout out to Save with Nyla on Instagram for this Asper Cream deal. It is on a promotion for buy one, get back a $10 extra buck. And it is this Asper Cream Flexi Motion Patch. So they're $19.49 in my store. We have a $5 digital coupon you can go ahead and clip. I also have a 3L15 pain relief CRT that is attaching. So I'll pay $11.49 at the register, get back a $10 extra buck for buying one. And then I'll submit to Ibotta for $4 back, making this a $2.51 moneymaker. No promotion on these CVS facial wipes. However, I have some good CRTs for it, and I do believe these will track towards that beauty event. So they're $5.59 in my store. I have two $2 CVS facial wipe CRTs. It brings the cost down to $1.59, and like I said, hopefully tracking towards the beauty event. I have been loving these degree dry spray promotions lately. So they are buy one, get one half off this week. Spend 20, get back a $7 extra buck. Dove is also included. I believe Suave and some others. I'm going for degree. So they are $7.99 regular price in my store. Two will ring up at that price. And then my half off items will be $3.99. I'm grabbing a total of four altogether. So that is a total of $23.96 after that buy one, get one half off promotion. I'm going to use two of these four off two coupons from the March Unilever. They are expired by a day. So if your store accepts them, most do up to 14 days. Go ahead and add these into the situation if you have any available. I also have a five off 15 degree CRT and then a digital coupon for $1.25 off. I'm thinking that will glitch with this. So I should be left to pay $9.71. I'll get back a $7 extra buck, making the final cost $2.71 for all four or 67 cents a piece. And I'm definitely holding on to my receipt in case any rebates on Fetch Rewards or Ibotta pop up later in the week. So I saw last week my friend Amy at Amy Way to Save did a cotton ball deal on these Beauty 360 brand. And I fell in love with it. I thought it was genius. And this week they're on the same promotion for buy to get the third free. Now something funky happened. Somebody put some cotton balls in the wrong spot. So the two that are 120 count were 319 each. And then I guess there was a hundred count on the bottom of those that rang up at 299. Obviously it made my cost a little higher than anticipated, but we're still going for it because it is a great stock up price. So that 299 one will be my free item since it is the lowest value. 
So I have a $1 CRT I'll go ahead and use and a two off a two CRT. Brings my cost down to $3.38 for all three or $1.12 each. So if you caught my CVS Best Deals video Friday, I was talking about I'm hoping that the L'Oreal Age Perfect Moisturizers will beat a part of the promotion for buy one, get back a $10 extra buck because it literally just says in the ad buy any L'Oreal Age Perfect or Revitalift, get a $10 extra buck. However, they meant the serums but the moisturizers are on their own promotion. So the moisturizers are part of the promotion for spend 25, get back a $5 extra buck. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one at 26.49. That obviously meets the threshold. I have a six off 24 L'Oreal Facial Care CRT, a $5 Age Perfect CRT, and a $7 Age Perfect CRT. Now we have some expired L'Oreal coupons out there. However, I don't have my hands on that. So we're just doing this all CRT way. So we'll pay $8.49 out of pocket, get back a $5 extra buck, making it $3.49. That is a significant price drop, plus this tracks towards that beauty event. Gillette and Venus razors this week are buy to get back a $10 extra buck and this isn't for the disposables. So I'm going to grab one of these Venus women's razors at $14.49 and I'm also going to grab a men's Gillette Mach 3 at $10.99. I have a 10 off 25 Gillette Venus CRT I'll go ahead and use, and then I'm gonna use two of these $3 coupons, one for the men's, one for the women's. They are expired because they are from the March PNG. However, we have new ones in the April PNG if you have those on hand, and we also have these in digital form as well. So I'll pay 9.48, get back a $10 extra buck, making it a 52 cent money maker. I'm gonna do this deal on my side account as well because I have the exact same CRT and a couple of these coupons still left over. So aside from the Venus and Gillette razor deal on my side account, I'm also going to do the U by Kotex and then call it a day with this account. So the U by Kotex is buy one, get one half off this week, buy two, get back a $2 extra buck. I'm going to grab two of these barely there liners. They are the 50 count at $4.99. So one will ring in at $4.99 and my half off item will be $2.50. So I have a four off two paper coupon from the 313 smart source I'll use and a one off of six tampons, pads, or liner CRT brings the cost down to $249. I'll pay. I'll get back a $2 extra buck and submit to fetch rewards for $1.25 back, making the final cost free and a 76 cent moneymaker. So this is everything I'm grabbing at CVS today, small but mighty. So like I mentioned, I'm running that Gillette Venus deal twice, one on my main account, one on my side account. And then lastly for my side account, the U by Kotex. So just two deals. Everything else is going on my main account. We're going to be doing a lot of rolling today because I'm short on some extra bucks and I want that low out of pocket. But I think this should be a really good haul. Lots of beauty items tracking towards a beauty event. So stick with me and we'll be back in the car to talk about how the transactions went and rewards back and final We costs. are back out from CVS. Everything went super well today. Obviously, I did a lot of dividing up the transactions, but it all worked out beautifully. And sometimes I kind of like doing that just because you get a closer look at your transaction itself to see what kind of digitals and CRTs are not attaching, which are attaching, that sort of thing. So I think I did a total of one, two, three, four, five, five transactions. Goodness gracious. So we're going to waste no time and get right into looking at the receipts and then going over the final numbers, rewards back, all that good stuff. So this is my side card where we did the Kotex um, Barely There liners and the Gillette. So all the coupons apply successfully. I rolled $10 in extra bucks with a subtotal of $1.96. I did put that on a Fetch Rewards gift card. So yeah. Um, and then I got back the $10 for Gillette and $2 for the U-Buy Kotex. First transaction on my main card, I did the Nivea, the Beauty 360, and the CVS um, facial wipes. Now, notice the Be Beauty 360. I was looking at it for a while in store because the two displays beside each other of the cotton balls, they were both 120 count, and one was priced at $319, one was $299. And I was trying to figure out what the heck the difference was. You guys can see that. Those two cotton balls I grabbed are $319, and I guess one underneath the two that I already grabbed was $2.99. So I'm assuming somebody put those first two cotton balls in the wrong spot. And I wish I had known that. 
because then I would have gone and got the $2.99 ones because it would have been a little bit extra savings, but it's still a great deal. Um, all of my coupons and CRTs, really just CRT based in this one, no coupons for this. I didn't even roll extra bucks because I knew it was going to be a little subtotal. So I just went ahead and put that on a Fetch Rewards gift card, $4.65 plus tax. My Care Pass did take off $0.32, cents, so that was kind of nice. And no extra bucks back on this transaction. This was an easy peasy transaction on the Asper Cream. So my store was priced a little lower than online, which is always wonderful. And we had the $5 digital for Asper Cream, 3 off 15 pain relief. And then I did roll four, five, $7 in extra bucks with a subtotal of four forty nine, dollars because all I had was $7 to roll. And I did get back the, ugh, I folded it weird, $10 in extra bucks. And I also will submit to Ibotta for this. I promise we're nearing the ends of receipts. So this one, I did the Gillette deal. I have my coupons, my 10 off 25. I did roll a $10 extra buck that lowered itself to $9.48. So I had a $0 subtotal, put the tax on that Fetch Rewards gift card I've been using throughout this whole trip. Got my $10 back. And lastly, we have the degree items and that L'Oreal. So I knew I only had about 10 bucks to roll. So this was a higher out of pocket as well. But all those coupons, including my expired ones, my CRTs, that $10 extra buck. So I paid $18.20 out of pocket. That is my extra buck and subtotal included. We put 10 of that on my Fetch Rewards gift card, max that out, and I paid $2 out of pocket. And we did get back the $7 for the deodorant and the $5 for the L'Oreal. With all those transactions and everything we got today, it would have cost us a total of $148.35. That's just sale price, including the buy one, get one half off prices. Kind of insane. Um, out of pocket with subtotals and extra bucks rolled, we spent $55.78. We got back a total of $44 in extra bucks between both accounts. And also that is the out of pocket between both, this, both accounts as well. So 44 back in extra bucks between my two accounts. I did submit to Ibotta for $4 back for the Asper Cream. Fetch Rewards $1.28 for those U by Kotex liners. Again, that is a limit of one. Um, obviously it would have been a little bit better if I could submit it twice, but I'll take it. It was still a freebie. So for all 17 items we got today, almost $150 worth of product, it comes to $6.50 or about 38 cents per product. I think that is fantastic for everything we got today. We got so much stuff that'll track towards that beauty event. Um, high quality stuff, high price stuff. I mean, the razors, those Gillette razors, 10 bucks, that moisturizer, $26. You can't get better than $6. I'll take that cost for the great amount of stuff that I got that is definitely going to use. I'm very into the whole skincare sort of thing. Let me know down in the comments what deals you're picking up at CVS this week. There obviously is quite a few deals I did not do today um, that I shared in my CVS Best Deals video. Forgot to even mention this in the beginning of the video. My inserts, I ordered them too late. Um, I ordered them Thursday evening. So with my two debt two-day FedEx shipping from BQ. They weren't going to get here by today. I think they're going to be here tomorrow or Tuesday. So that's why I couldn't do a couple of scenarios I put out for y'all. Maybe I'll come back later in the week to finally do them, but hey, I'm still happy with what we picked up. So that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along shopping with me today, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!